Hi guys, Dan's Dollars here. A very good evening to you all. I hope you're all well at home. It's the 1st of December, which means the Christmas vlog videos are back. We're going to be looking through £100 of 50p coins in one of these videos every single day. They're going to be a little bit different. If I have been out and about, I'll share a little bit about what I've been doing. And again, if anyone's been up to anything exciting, let us know in the comments and I'll give you a shout out the following day. Again, if you found any commemorative coins as well, let me know. I'll jot them all down and as we look through another £100 worth, I'll have a little look across and give you and your coin a deserved shout out. So £100 worth of commemorative coins in this video. There is only just going to be a coin hunt in this one as I again, I have been at work today, but hopefully I can get out tomorrow. Never know, I'll try and do something fun and exciting on my quick break tomorrow. And again, these just a real nice catch up and a good way to speak to everyone. Again, I've been so busy recently with my birthday. And with that, a huge shout out for all of the nice words, the happy birthday messages, the gifts as well. I can't thank you enough. Just been so busy in general. So again, being able to check in 10 minutes every single day with you all. I really can't wait and I can't wait to catch up and see how everyone is doing. Don't worry, there's still going to be all of the other videos as well. Plenty of content on the channel. Plenty of review and evaluation videos through the night for you night owls out there. So the first coin then has been found. And we're going to back it up straight away. The Johnson's Dictionary. We've hit a Sir Roger Bannister and it looks like a shield is followed by a Paddington. Triple bagger, three commemorative coins in four there. I'm not complaining with that one. We hit a turkey strike in that bag. And again, the first three coins of the Christmas V-Log coin hunts. Just like we did last year as well, I will try and get out and about as much as possible and see if there's any Christmas markets on, bring you a little bit of footage. And again, just trying to mix things up on the channel. The previous video was actually a year long video that I've been making for the family. Definitely do check it out. Really nice scenes. I've been taking a picture from roughly the same place every single week for a year now, a year time lapse. And again, it is really for the family. It isn't coin related, but you know, you never know. You might enjoy that video as well. Talking of coins though, this month, a big month indeed. And it comes down to commemorative coins as we are going to see this month. The first Charles III 50p coins released for circulation. I'm sure a lot of people like myself have already got them in the collection and purchased them as well. But this is your opportunity to get your hands on one of those Charles III coins. Now, the vintage figure of the coin is just under 10 million, so it does put it in the common category. I've seen a few different stats out there saying one in 60 odd people are going to be able to find one. At the end of the day, that stat is everyone in total. There's a lot of people that will just put them back into circulation. And when a vintage figure is 9 million, I can promise you this. If you keep checking your change, you will 100% find one. It may take a year to find one, but I promise you that you will. You're not just going to get super lucky and find one when it's 9 million, especially when the first released. Again, they're not really going to be worth much more than the face value of the coin. They're going to be worth a little bit more because it is the first Charles III commemorative 50p for UK circulation. However, I can promise you they're never really going to get much more than £2 for a perfect uncirculated in four or five years' time. For this reason, again, people aren't just going to keep them like they would with a rare Olympic, a rare Beatrix Potter. Once they've found a couple of them, I'm sure they'll pop them back out there, replenish them back into circulation. and again. Keep checking your change, they'll find their way into your collections at home. Coin number four, the most common commemorative 50p out there without shields and Britannias. 25 million Benjamin Bunnets were released for circulation. A coin I'm sure everyone has found at home. If you're new to coin collecting, if you haven't found it yet, that could well be the first commemorative coin that you will stumble across. Again, part of that infamous Beatrix Potter 50p coin set. Coin number five, it's another Paddington. Paddington outside the Tower of London. Plenty of Paddingtons on the channel again at the moment. Too many. I am putting them back out into circulation, don't you worry. I think I've only got maybe three or four different circulated Paddingtons. Don't like to keep many of them. Again, really just a face value coin. After the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, they did go up a little bit to around £1.50 for circulated, £2 perfect and circulated, but that number is starting to come back down now. 
and I think by the end of next year, they're going to be back to near circulated value, maybe 60p. So again, you pay more from the postage if you do want to get it into your collections. The next coin is a Sherlock Holmes, another 2019 coin, and that makes it six commemorative so far. Not a bad haul on the first day. So let's take a look at the six commemorative coins. And again, there will be a little bit of footage in the video that we do tomorrow. Could be anything. If there's nothing interesting, I'll find some sheep at work. <laughs> there's always sheep near work. So six commemorative coins, probably commemorative from some sheep tomorrow. We've got the Sherlock Holmes, the Paddington outside the Tower of London, the Benjamin Bunny, the Paddington outside St. Paul's Cathedral, the 2004 Sir Roger Bannister, and another Johnson's Dictionary. Not a bad way to start off December, six commemorative finds. And again, best of luck with your coin collecting this month. Stay safe, and as always, guys, thanks for watching.